Hello, everyone. Welcome to join our mock development tools training for Chain 3. First, I'll give a short introduction about MOOC. Uh, in MOOC system, we have vNode and SCS. And on vNode, we have three ways to communicate with vNode. The first one is using the console commands, which you need to run a, a MOOC node and using the console uh, to communicate with that. The second one is just using the JavaScript API. The uh, third one is we're just using RPC commands, but uh, you can also directly go through the RPC ports to communicate with Mock. And what Chain3 is, Chain3 is a JavaScript library which allow user to communicate with Mock node using the JavaScript API. And this is open source, and this is a public library, and it has a GitHub account here. And we also have a documentation with that. Uh, okay, let me show you where the GitHub is. If you go to mock chain uh, GitHub, you can see this chain three repository here. Click it, and it shows that the current version is 0 0.1.9. Uh, it contains all the source code we have and uh, some necessary information to use this uh, library. On our GitHub, uh, mock core GitHub, you can also find the chain, the chain string information, JavaScript th through in the, under the wiki and the v node. JavaScript API. This list old API commands that you can use to connect with mock node. Please note that um, for the JavaScript library we are going to use for this chain three library, it didn't contain all the commands here. For example, the commands that unlocked account, that is a private command that can only be run under the console and not through this JavaScript library. We also have a documentation that you can find out through MOOC main uh, website. You go to MOOC uh, main website, go to developers, and go to this document. Then also you check, check the node, check mock node, and you can see the chain three JavaScript API. You can find all sorts of information here, just like the other one. To install chain three library, you can choose in uh, NPM. You can also use in Bower and Metro. Here, we're gonna show you how to call some example uh, programs. Here we already installed chain three under node modules. And under the uh, chain three rep uh, source code, you can find a directory called example. It has all kinds of examples there. Here I'm just showing one example is called nodeinfo.js. What's this? Let's go through this one. It's called a, lit, a line by line. Uh, first, it's just to import the chain three library. And you need to set the providers. Here, we set provider at a local node. That's why you need to run. A local node here. Then what we do is just uh, displaying some information about the network. For example, the first one is just develop uh, the first block information. Then we can check the balance of our uh, of the of this uh, node. 
We also have other information like the versions of the network where it, uh, the running and how to duplicate this. The smoke node. Yeah. Here we just run this. Yeah, and you saw you see it. It displays network information about which version it is using. Now it's using V1.1.0.2. Yeah, and I think another important function is to use this chain three library to send the raw transactions to the background. What is a raw transaction? The raw transaction actually is a transaction that you need to sign using some local uh, account because to because the Unlock account only allow uh, at the local nodes level. Uh, if you want to send, uh, you cannot un unlock you unlock your own, your own account unless you are running a local node. I mean, a lot of pro a lot of DAPPs they need to just send the signed transaction to the remote servers uh, to uh, execute the transactions. Here we show the example. It's called sent mc.js. It's the example should be like the left. should be in this. Uh, you, we here we provide two accounts, uh, but neither of them are based private keys. Just uh, because the private key, as long as you have private key, you can you can uh, steal all the funds from this one. Well, you can always replace this with your own private key. And here it just showed how to uh, make a raw transaction and uh, using the sign transaction method to, and the first one is the, the raw transaction object, second one is private key. And after the sign, it should contain, it, it should be able to uh, send to the back, uh, to the mock node, remote mock node using the send raw transaction here. Because we don't have this uh, private key, if you just uh, execute this send MS, you will get a message, error message here. Basically, because when you try to pass the private key for this uh, sign, tra sign transaction, it will report us because there's no, uh, there's no private key there. Private key we have is in another file. Let me just copy this one to, yeah, basically all, all the differences, you have a private key there. And then you can see what we have is, we have, we have this um, transaction signed and submitted. Here, if you take a look at the TX pool of, of this local node, you will find that the transaction we're sending is in the pending pool, which means it's uh, is then is waiting to be put in the next block, and I'll wait for a while. Okay, it's done, and uh, you can get this information, get this transaction information from this node, which you will see that we have a block number here. It means the transaction is successfully uh, getting to the blockchain. Okay, here, uh, that's how, how we um, use this uh, King3 uh, JavaScript library to send a raw transaction to the to a remote node. Um, you can test this one uh, on your own machines. And if you have any questions, you can go to our Chain3 uh, website and you can click issues and leave the information there or you can go to our main chain, book core, uh, GitHub here, and send us lots of questions here. We already have some developers leave some questions and we are able to help them. So be sure to come here and leave us your feedbacks. We also have a Slack channel and you can um, 
from our mobile website. Yeah, we have our uh, Telegram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Reddit. You can just connect, uh, communicate with us uh, using those information in the community. Okay, I think that's all for today. We are going to uh, bring more training in the future. Thanks very much for, for an interesting MOOC. Let's do it together. <laughs>